What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in this video, I wanna talk about dojo storming and how I think it's fucking retarded. Okay, so before I get started, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, thank you very much. Okay, now this, this came to me uh, while I was walking my dog uh, tonight and I saw somebody left a message under one of the videos that I, uh, that I made concerning Wing Chun and how I was giving my opinions all on why I, why I think it doesn't work. And so the comment was something to the effects of stop watching YouTube videos, go to your closest uh, Wing Chun club and challenge the master. <laughs> so, you know, it wasn't a mean comment, but uh, it, was, it was funny. Um, so I thought about it and I'm like, hmm. So I answered back, of course, and like I always do, I always answer all my comments, you know. I'm not big to the point where like I don't have time, you know. So I answered it and I said, well, no, I'll, I'll keep watching my videos, thank you very much, and I'll just wait for uh, someone from the Wing Chun uh, community to come challenge me at my club. But, you know, jokingly, right? LOL at the end of that. So it got me thinking and I was like, hmm, it's true. There is this culture of dojo storming. I know, I know it existed since the dawn of time, since the dawn of, you know, uh, clubs, martial arts, different styles. People have been challenging each other left and right to see what's what, what's real. But I think in this day and age, like, I, I don't agree with it because I feel as though why would you be doing that? You know what I mean? Like, who appointed you? Like, is it your style that the person is teaching? Like, you're the founder? Are you the founder of the style? And, and uh, so you have to go to a school and tell this guy, listen, you can't teach or you're full of shit and I'm gonna fuck you up to prove it. You know? And let's say, let's say even if, so you're not the founder, maybe you're, a, uh, you're one of the big students. Okay, but did the founder, okay, ask you to do this? Did he mandate you to go fuck up every single school, challenge people, okay, to, to, uh, to not teach this style? Or, or, sorry, not just if it's the same style, but to, to like see um, if, the if you could beat everybody up and to, to, to reign supreme in the world of martial arts? I like, I kind of understand that, you know, back a couple of hundred years ago when people were like crazy and, and you know, they had nothing else better to do and it was very, um, it was very deep, you know, when it came to schools, clubs and, you know, like those big, big implications, right? But in today's society, I feel as though, like if you're dojo storming somebody, like, I, I might be wrong here, this is just my opinion, but I feel as though, like, why would you do that? You know, and also like I make videos about fitness and martial arts. I express my views on my channel. It doesn't mean that I'm gonna go and fight people. Like, I'm not a professional fighter. I'm a martial artist. I practice martial arts. I compete in judo. Okay, that's my thing. And of course, uh, when I have more time, I'll do, uh, I do wrestling also, and I'll do other martial arts as time goes on. Uh, boxing, I'd love to get into the ring one day and do a couple of amateur uh, fights, but I had to have time to train and to prepare, right? And the same thing goes for Muay Thai, possibly. I'd be really interested in that. Maybe even MMA at one point, you know? So we'll see. Anyways, I digress a little bit. So going back to what I'm saying is that I'm not just going to go up go to somebody's club, like, in my mind, I'm gonna go there, and what does it prove, you know? I feel it's, it's, it's kind of like a form of bullying, you know what I mean? Like, what do I have to prove, okay, to go to a, a, somebody's club and say, I wanna challenge the master? I don't, I have nothing to prove. I express my views on, on, on my channel about a particular martial art, why I think it doesn't work and, and blah, 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 blah. I, I made my case in that video. And so why would I want to go to a Wing Chun club and fight somebody? I find that to be, like you gotta, got, you gotta remember that at this point I do judo, right? And in judo, we have values, 
and respect, courtesy, self-control, humility. So I know sometimes I sound like like a, a little cocky bastard and I talk a little bit talk a little bit of shit and curse and stuff like that. But really, I have values, you know, uh, my own, and of course a lot of them uh, I learned uh, from judo, and and so like. This humility part of me, okay, at this point, nobody's invincible, okay? So why would I go to another man's club and challenge him? Like, it doesn't serve anything. Like, it doesn't prove anything to me. Whether I get my ass kicked or whether I kick some ass, there's really no point. So I don't understand this mentality of, uh, of dojo storming, you know? And I mean, okay, listen, and, and look at it on the other side. The guy here who has his uh, Wing Chun club, let's say, right, or Kung Fu school, he's practicing his martial art, he's teaching students who are interested in learning, okay, I don't think his stuff works, fine, but I'm not going to make trouble for the guy, the guy is m making a living teaching martial arts, that's very respectable, he's doing something he enjoys, he, that he believes in, whether it works or not, okay, that's, you know, where, uh, that's a different story, that's somewhere, that's where, like, it's a question of opinion, uh, so to speak, you know, but I'm not gonna go there and fuck with this man's uh, livelihood, like the way he, uh, he he earns a living, you know, I, like he's not cheating anybody, right? Like he's not doing anything bad, and if there are people who believe in what he's doing, then yeah, they have the right to uh, to to go there and to learn from this man and to pay him for it. Like why? And so why would I go there and 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 be like? In, in, in essence, kind of a bully, because that's what it, that's what that's where I see this as, uh, where it's going. It's if I show up to your house and I tell you, "Hey, motherfucker, you know, uh, blah blah blah. I think you suck balls, man. Let's fucking let's throw down." Like it's bullying. All of a sudden, it's it's aggression. It's like I'm going there and I'm I'm a, you know like wanting to assault the guy, you know. So then I, I I'm against that. I think it's completely wrong. So I just wanted to, to put that out there. It, to me, it's like bullying. And to be honest, like if you, if you come to my, let's say you come to my club, the club where I train, it's not my, my club, but you know, I feel as though it's my club because it's really, I'm really tight with, uh, with everybody there. So if you come to my club and you tell me, hey, Hong, I want to challenge you. Well, first of all, in the judo world, we don't do that. Like we don't, you know, everybody trains with everybody. Everybody knows everybody on circuit in competition. So, and, and there's that, that big respect thing. It's very Japanese, by the way, you know? So there's a lot of uh, etiquette and, and, and values and codes of conducts that are involved. So we would never even do that to each other. You know, like there is no such uh, type of attitude, you know? So it wouldn't even happen in in, in the world of judo, like another judoka is not gonna come and like, oh, I wanna test you, you know? Uh, there's a whole system, a whole federation behind it. You can't just get your black belt like that. It has to be, you have to pass an exam in front of the federation. So, and then you're registered and you have an international passport when you have your black belt. So you're recognized uh, globally. So anywhere you go, you, pro you take out your passport and you know, other schools accept you with open arms, right? So that's why judo is such a beautiful thing. But I digress. So now let's say I'm at my judo club and somebody comes and he does Muay Thai and he's like, I want to challenge you. Okay, well, first of all, dude, are you serious? Second of all, well, if you're gonna come here, you, we're, we do judo here. So if you want to fight, you either do it judo, but if you want to fight like you want to Thai box me, no. But if you want to fight, let's go. But now it's different. Now I'm gonna fucking take out a stick and crack you in the head. Or if I have a gun, I'll just pull it out and shoot you. And that'll be it. And I'll call the cops. This guy came in, I have witnesses. He wanted to fucking fight with me. I told him no, he, he insisted. I pulled out a gun, I said, all right. Well, you gotta get the fuck out of here. You move, you make a crazy thing. You try to approach, I'm gonna shoot your ass. I'll cap him in the damn leg and that'll be it. You see where I'm getting at here? And like, I don't believe in this. So th this guy, when he told me, oh, go, 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 go to a Wing Chun club and fight. First of all, it's against my values. Second of all, I have nothing to prove. And third of all, it's, 
it's just my opinion, man. You know, like I don't believe it works. And um, if you have, if any of you guys have your own opinion and feel strongly about it, then I would encourage you to, ha you know, have your own YouTube channel and, and discuss it, talk about it. And uh, yeah, so that's what I want to talk about in this video. I mean, that comment kind of like, you know, because I mentioned in other videos that I am uh, quite a sensitive guy, you know, so sometimes I take things to heart, but I'm not sure if you meant it as a joke. It didn't, felt, it didn't feel mean, but at the same time, it's like telling me to go challenge a Wing Chun club. Like, I'm not a douchebag like that, and I'm not a fucking bully, so I'm not going to go challenge anybody. You know, anyone who wants to come challenge me, come to the club, we'll deal with it there. And you guys already know my position here. So if you come and you don't want to do some judo and, you know, dude, like uh, then you're just coming to bully. You're coming to uh, uh, you're coming on the offensive and like, dude, I know how to fight, too, man. It's not just because I have rules in judo and Brazilian jiu jitsu and stuff like that. And in all the, uh, the combat sports that I do that, you know, I'm not able to do illegal stuff, you know. I could eye poke, I could bite, I could kick people in the nuts, I could headbutt. It's not a big deal to me, you know? Because I'll make another video about this, but the topic would be train sport, think street. Okay, so I've always had this in the back of my mind. And like most people who take up martial arts, I had uh, some bullying when I, was, uh, when I was younger, so that I think you know really pushed me to want to practice martial arts, be stronger, and be able to take care of myself. So there you go, you know. So like this whole thing with, uh, anyways, I'll make another video, and and uh, I, I just want to gather my thoughts on that subject where uh, you could train sport and think street. Okay, and it's much easier to do than the other way around. If all you do is train street, but you don't, you're not pressure tested. You know like you might be at a disadvantage. So anyways, that's it for this video. That was my little rant and my thoughts on dojo storming. I think it's fucking retarded. So I hope, um, I hope some of you guys agree with me. If not, tell me why. Uh, you know, I would really, you know, like nothing is set in stone, right? Like if you could convince me you have valid arguments, then yeah, definitely I'll, uh, I'll consider it. And, and I'll try to, you know, and, and of course, if, it's, if I consider it long enough and I, I really think deeply about it and I feel that it makes sense, then I'll change my mind. Like, I'm not the type of guy whose uh, mind is closed-minded and, and stuff like that. I change. Like, even through my videos, since the past, what, two, three months that I've been making videos, some of the things I've said previously aren't completely valid or applicable at this moment, you know, like even Wing Chun. I realize now why Wing Chun was developed the way it, what it, it, it was because I, I was having this discussion with uh, Central Coast Self-Defense. Oh man, I forgot his, uh, the title of his, his channel, but really cool channel. You guys should go check it out. I'll, I'll put a link down below. And he explained to me why it was uh, developed the way it was, Wing Chun, you know, the narrow stance. Uh, you know how it was it was about being really fast and just striking like the vitals because uh, it was a woman who developed it and also like um, It was actually made to be fighting close quarters like on unstable ground, you know, like on a boat and stuff like that so you didn't really have uh, How do you say it space to jump around, you know, like in boxing using footwork and doing high kicks and stuff like that So it was very interesting and uh, it made me realize well, you know, we have to look at the context of how the martial art was developed. So it could work in specific situations, but it might not work as well, okay, in, in, in a cage, in a sporting event like the, the UFC, or, you know, or maybe in the street or in a bar, whatever, you know? So anyways, all that to say that uh, if you guys can convince me, I'm open to being convinced. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Are you down with Dojo Storming? Think it's good, it's not good? Tell me why. And like the video if you like the video and share it and click on the um, notification button if you subscribe. That way you can uh, have be notified when I make videos, which I'm making daily at this point. It's really fun. I'm starting to enjoy this shit. 
and I promise with time, uh, the video editing will get better. So this video has been a little bit long. I'm sorry about that, but uh, I just wanted to um, get that point across. So thank you very much, guys. I appreciate every single one of you who's watching and listening and who's commenting. And, um, you know, we don't always have to agree. We just have to keep it clean and respectful. So no below the belt stuff, guys, you know. Yeah. Can't see my belt, but you know what I mean. No, no uh, personal insults, so to speak. But we can go back and forth, definitely. And um, yeah, so I don't know if that person who left that comment was serious, but I'm just like, you know, taking it uh, not out of context, but taking it uh, separately. And yeah, talking about this whole do dojo storming thing. And this goes for uh, I find dojo storming. Also, you know, when you guys. I feel as though it, when we go and we attack other dudes on, on YouTube about their, their, uh, what they're doing, I feel that that's a form of dojo storming too. You know what I mean? Because it is. It's like a virtual dojo, right? Like especially if that person is involved in, in, in martial arts, right? Or self-defense or, or whatnot. Anything that has to do with uh, fighting. Okay, I mean, it's, it's kind of like their virtual dojo and, you know, and so, like, if you go and you and they get criti and you criticize them harshly, and you're you're you know telling them ah your stuff is you're an idiot, your shit doesn't work, blah blah blah, and you're re being really harsh and rude about it, I feel it's it's like dojo storming too. It's like you know, and 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 yeah, challenging people. I mean, that's so you know like eh, uh, uh, I I know I know testosterone and ego, you know, we all go a little bit crazy sometimes, but. It's that that's the last thing I want to bring up. So that's why I changed my approach. I made two videos. I even took them down because I realized uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't the way to go. Like it was wrong. It was wrong to 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 attack people personally, to criticize them uh, harshly. Even though I didn't think it was that harsh, but mm, it brings a lot of uh, negativity. Uh, towards you and even you putting negativity towards a person I think it's uh, it's uh, it's wrong and I was wrong about that so I took the damn videos down fuck it hey we gotta evolve right you gotta you gotta adapt while you're you're in the fight so to speak so all right that's it guys thank you very much I'll see you guys in the next video peace